Hello, and welcome to Bulletproof Art. I'm Sam. If you enjoy bullet journaling as much as I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay connected. Today we're going to be continuing our self-care challenge with week number six. So let's get to it. I'm starting off by outlining each of the boxes for the days of the week. I then go in and add a drop shadow to each of the boxes and I am using this new days of the week washi tape that I found on Wish. I thought it was really adorable and I wanted to incorporate it in this spread. You'll probably see it a lot in the future as well, but I will leave a link in the description below so that you can find that for yourself. This week's challenge is social care, and I did this one a little differently. Usually I use a full page, but instead I just used this piece of craft paper on the side of the page to write down my list of supports. And these are people that you can talk to if you're having a bad day, if you're having a good day. They're just there for you to confide in, and they're there to support you. It's important to have at least three good support people that you can contact in case of emergency or if you just need to vent or maybe you need some advice. I always call my Mimi when I have life questions because she's a very wise woman. You can't live life alone and no matter how hard you try to do things on your own, you still need people who understand you. People you can depend on and who will listen and be honest with you. Having a support system, whether big or small, can improve your well-being and reduce depression and anxiety. My support system isn't very big, but I know that I can depend on these people to listen to me and help me through tough times. Having a support system can also help reduce stress because life is hard sometimes, but if we can confide in someone, it makes it a little bit easier. Down in my goals section, I wrote call or talk to one of my support people at least once a week. I then went through and added all of the tasks that I needed to do for each day. Instead of drawing a foot for my steps this month, I decided to do this purple sneaker and I thought it came out really cute. That about wraps up this video guys. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you have any questions or comments, you can also leave those down below. And if you happen to recreate this, you can tag me on Instagram. My information is in the description. And as always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I post bullet journal videos twice a week. I will see you next time guys. Bye.